Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be actually looking at how we can build RPM using the Fedora packaging tools. Okay, so here in this article we will try to see how we can set up our workstation uh, to install the very basic uh, tools uh, to build an RPM package using the Fedora specific uh, uh, workstation okay so basically what I mean to say is uh, like we know like we can build RPM using the RPM dev tools uh, which is provided by the Linux uh, operating system but Fedora packaging tool has uh, uh, like uh, provided some uh, improvised tools uh, leveraging the RPM dev tools uh, which can help in building our packages uh, smoothly with uh, less interference okay so th that is what like we are going to do in this article and we will also see like how we can build the RPM locally and how we can leverage the Fedora uh, build workstation that is Koji uh, and try to see like how we can build our package on that system okay so I am currently working on uh, Fedora 38 workstation okay uh, and this is the workstation on which we are going to uh, carry out this activity okay before going on uh, with the details of how we can uh, build the RPM package let us try to understand some terminologies okay so first is uh, what is Prager okay so let me go into the browser first and search for Prager okay if you go and search for Prager like it will be uh, taking you to the following page Prager.io okay so Prager uh, is basically an open source uh, version control system you can say wherein we can uh, keep our software okay so here uh, basically like most of the uh, the packages that that are built for the Fedora uh, operating system are kept here okay so Pager is basically the primary uh, uh, git forge or uh, the version control system you can say uh, which is used to keep the source of the uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the rpm packages for fedora okay so if you go and search for uh, any uh, project over here or any repository so you'll see like these are the uh, the pack uh, these are the uh, files that are kept over here so it basically uh, keeps a spec file okay so you see this spec, spec file so this spec uh, spec file is what is uh, basically uh, used to build the rpm package and it contains the uh, source directory uh, source uh, location of the uh, the package basically so pager uh, contains the uh, the spec file and the source location of the the package that we are uh, we are trying to build okay the source location can be anything like it can be like in the git uh, github it can be the gitlab or it can be any other version control system wherein the actual uh, the source uh, tarballs are kept okay so that is what pager is all about okay and let us come to koji okay what is koji is koji is basically a build system specifically used for the fedora packaging okay so whatever packages are built for the fedora operating system that are built using the koji operating system and they are packaged into the fedora os okay so let me go into my browser and try to search for koji uh, you can search for koji fedora and it will directly take you to the build system for operating system okay so here you can see like it basically consists of uh, the it, it is basically a build system wherein we can try to build our source uh, with the spec file uh, which is which can be uh, for any uh, platform like x86 64 ARM packages or uh, uh, PPC packages okay so it basically uh, tries to build uh, specific to the platform uh, okay so these are all the packages that are uh, actually built using the Fedora. Okay, so if you uh, so we have looked at the AR389 console, uh, what is uh, the source, and this is the packages that are built. Okay, so if you see this FC uh, FC2829, so these are the platforms you can see uh, the operating system for which the the packages are built. So there are some uh, repository like uh, repositories like extra linux repository so these are uh, these packages are built for that that specific uh, repositories also so that they can be compatible with all the linux operating system 
uh, which are based on uh, the RPM packaging tools. Okay, so these are the uh, so this is basically the build tool uh, which is specifically used to build the the RPM packages for Fedora. Okay, so let us go into our uh, guide and let us see like how we can proceed with building the RPM package for Fedora. Okay. Uh, specifically using the Fedora tools. So as a first step, like we need to have the FAST account. What is FAST account? FAST account is Fedora account system. Okay. So if you go and search for uh, in the browser, let us go and search for Fedora accounts system. Okay. Or you can search for FAST also. FAST Fedora. You can search for FAST Fedora it will directly take you to the Fedora accounts so here you can uh, try to create your uh, Fedora account by registering over here with the username uh, first name last name and email address and you will have your Fedora account so I have already registered for this account so let me log in into this So this is how uh, your Fedora account uh, will look uh, like once you uh, log in. So basically this projects you can ignore uh, the uh, the second one. Uh, so it basically uh, is uh, something related to the project that I have contributed uh, but that is fine. So once you log in like you will uh, get to see like uh, your details over here okay and uh, you can uh, provide your GitHub, GitLab. Uh, account details also over here okay but the main thing that we wanted to like uh, uh, look at uh, once uh, we have created the Fedora account is uh, we need to configure the SSH uh, keys okay so basically what I mean to say is uh, like in order to uh, use this uh, the Pager system okay uh, the pack uh, let's let me go into the Pager system again okay so this is Pager system okay so this is basically uh, a kind of a version control system so in order to uh, push and pull uh, uh, change uh, source code from this Pager system you need to have some way of authenticating uh, to uh, this system okay so for that what you can do is uh, you can go into your profile okay you can go into your profile go for settings okay and in SSH keys, you need to copy your public key over here. Okay, so this is my public key that I have already copied. Uh, but uh, in order to do that, uh, what you can do is first you can check whether you have the public key already uh, in your home system, uh, home uh, folder. Okay, so let me go into my home folder and see for dot SSH folder. And you will see like uh, id underscore rsa dot pub and id underscore rsa dot or rsa uh, files are already there. Okay, so in case like you have you don't have this file, so this is basically the public key and this is the private key. So in case you do not have those files, like you can use SSH keygen. Okay, and you can just generate the uh, keys. Okay, so as I did over here, SSH keygen. So you can just put everything as default and you can generate the public and private key okay so once those uh, keys are generated you can just copy the uh, id underscore uh, so let me go into that folder first uh, okay so let me do id underscore rsa dot pub okay so this is the public key so you can just copy this one and go go over into the portal of your profile and just copy paste in uh, this location location ssh keys okay so this is how like you can configure your uh, your ssh key for the system so that you can use it for authenticating uh, uh, authenticating with the uh, fedora uh, uh, pager system like which hosts the source code okay so there are other uses also but this is only the base uh, the first uh, usage uh, that i am telling about the fast account okay 
So let me go into my article again. Okay, so in this step, like we have created our pass account and we have generated our uh, SSH keys and we have copied our SSH key onto our uh, profile SSH key settings. Okay, so coming to our next step, the, it is creating a Red Hat Bugzilla account. Okay, so in order to package and build a, a package related to the federal operating system, we need to have the uh, Red Hat Bugzilla account. Okay, so Red Hat Bugzilla is basically a portal wherein we can report uh, bugs related to our package. So let us say, like if anybody is using our package uh, in the operating system, they should have a way to report any issues or bugs related to our package. So for that, we need to have our uh, uh, Bugzilla account uh, created for our uh, and uh, have our package in place so that people can report uh, into that account. Okay. So let me go into uh, the browser and you can search for Red Hat Bugzilla. Okay, so it will take you directly to the Red Hat Bugzilla portal. And here you can see like you can log in with Fedora account system also. Okay. So let me go and log in with the Fedora account system. So it will directly take you to the FAST account login page. And you can log in. But you need to register uh, you need to register over uh, uh, in this with your email address. So for that, uh, okay, let me try to log in again. Okay, uh, you can refresh your browser and once you log in, like you will uh, uh, get uh, once, you, uh, like I think this login system is not working currently, uh, but yeah, so you can, uh, as you can uh, see, like uh, if you would like to create a Red Red Bugzilla account, you need to register your e email address over here, okay. So, so this one you need to carry out in order to. Uh, like basically create uh, a Red Hat Bugzilla account so that uh, anybody can uh, report uh, bugs related to the package. Okay. So this is uh, you can carry out uh, with your FAS account uh, and your email address. So this is related to the step two. Uh, let us go to the step three that is installing and configuring Git. Okay. So basically, like as I said, Pager is the uh, the default uh, or the uh, primary uh, version control system that is used by uh, Fedora for their packages. Okay. So in order to work with Fedora, we need to have some kind of tools so that we can uh, uh, like uh, uh, commit our changes. Okay. Related to the, our source code. Okay. So for that, like we are going to install Git and configure Git. Okay. So basically installing Git is uh, as simple as uh, like uh, installing the Git all packages. Uh, so this is already carried out by me uh, on my machine. Okay. So let us give it some time. So this package is already installed on the machine so you can install it using the sudo dnf install git all okay as you can see the git all package is already installed on the machine so uh, if you have already git installed on your machine that is fine otherwise you can install it using the git all package okay so once the git uh, tools are installed you need to do the basic configuration like setting up the username email address the editor that you want to use and the default branch that you want to create for a package or the source code 
okay so these are the four uh, basic configuration that you can carry out so that it applies to your login okay so this is uh, basically uh, uh, required so that in case you uh, commit any changes to the bigger repository uh, the, the details related to your uh, uh, the id or your account are uh, gets uh, are being used so that it gets logged over there okay so for that purpose it is required so that uh, required to configure these details okay so now let us go into our step 4 that is installing the fedora packages okay so this is very important step uh, wherein we are actually going to use the fedora specific packages uh, that we uh, that we are going to use to build the rpm packages okay so for this like we are going to install two important packages that are that is fedora package and the fedora review package so fedora package uh, it basically consists of a, a set of tools so let let me let me go into my login and let me go and clear my screen and into my home directory and now here we can do uh, rpm qi fedora packager so if you see the information related to this package it basically contains a utilities used for pack federal packager in setting up the environment okay so if you want to see uh, like what type of utilities are there so you can do ql over here so it will list all the files So you can see these are the utilities that are available uh, in the federal package uh, package okay so it basically uh, what it does is it downloads the source rpm and spec file it downloads the upstream source code basically the actual uh, tarball files uh, which are used by uh, the federal uh, pager system in order to build the rpm package okay it checks for those rpms uh, those source files md5 uh, checksums and it uh, it basically is used to build and install the package in mock so mock is basically a tool which is used to build the rpm package in an isolated environment so isolated build environment you can say okay and then we have this rpm lint tool so it basically uh, like uh, scans your source rpms the the package uh, the rpms and the tarballs like and the spec files in order to identify identify if there are any issues okay so these and uh, it basically generates a template which becomes the starting point for review work okay so that is fine uh, so these are the basic steps that are carried out by the federal packaging tool okay so for that so so in order to use in order to use that so we need to install these tools so let us go and see and I'll try to install this uh, tools it is already installed on my system so it is fine uh, you can install these packages if it is not available on your machine okay so once you have installed this packages so you can see like it has installed a lot of packages uh, like basically uh, like rpm blend uh, rpm auto spec which is used to generate a template uh, spec file okay the mock uh, is basically used to uh, build the package in uh, in an isolated environment okay so these are some of the tools that uh, it installs by default the federal packager uh, which which basically helps uh, with building the packages specific to the federal environment okay and we have this bodhi bodhi client uh, it is also uh, uh, basically a build system uh, to build the operating system uh, for fedora okay so this is something that we will take a look at it further uh, in our uh, upcoming uh, videos okay so this is uh, some information related to the fedora package uh, which basically installs the uh, the dependent packages also okay now let us go into our next step that is step 5 adding your uh, user to the mock group okay so in order to use the mock build uh, uh, to build the uh, the packages in an isolated environment we need to add our user id uh, uh, to that group 
okay so the uh, to the group okay so in my case the user id is admin so you can check your user id using id okay uh, so you can just re, uh, run this command uh, by replacing admin uh, with your user id okay so this is how like you can add uh, the user to that group okay so i already so if you can see uh, my admin user is already a part of group wheels and mock group so i am already part of that mock group uh, which is used to uh, actually build the packages in an isolated environment okay now let us go into our next step that is step 6 that is acquiring the Kerberos ticket for Koji authentication okay so as I said Koji is basically an authentic uh, build system that is used specifically to build the RPM packages for Fedora okay so in order to use Koji like first we need to authenticate with the FAST account so in order to authenticate with the FAST account what we need to do is we need to first uh, basically uh, we need to use fk init okay fk init minus u and your fast account username okay so once you log in with your credentials okay so the password uh, you need to provide your fast account password so once you log in with your credentials like it will uh, 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 provide a message that uh, validate authentication with 4G okay so uh, uh, so that sh uh, that should generate your uh, that should authenticate your user ID with the 4G authentication system and uh, we need to run 4G Moshi Moshi in order to ensure that our user ID is authenticated okay so in my case like I have did a while back so the token gets expired so it is not able to authenticate right now like maybe the token the token has expired so we need to uh, like generate our token again so let me uh, re-authenticate using my user id fast account okay now I have authenticated so I should be able to get some message like uh, the user ID has been authenticated okay so as you can see like now you can see the message authenticated via GSS API okay so our user ID is now configured uh, to work with the Koji uh, build system so basically we can use the Koji build system So let us go into our uh, article and let us go into our next step that is step 7 creating the package directory okay so in this case uh, like I'm just going to use a default uh, hello spec file so for that uh, let me go into my home and let me move the hello folder to some like I already have this package uh, so let me move into something uh, backup like thing and let me create the hello folder again okay and let, let us create the hello folder and copy into uh, 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 change into the directory the hello okay so here so we have done make hello and change into that uh, directory and now we are going to create the spec file okay so for that let us go into uh, the shell and create this hello.spec file and copy the content of this file okay so let me save this file 
let me clear my screen and go, uh, open this folder so it basically contains the metadata about that package name version release and summary license and the url of that source upstream package and what is the uh, source tarball uh, location for that package uh, or the so, uh, the project i can say and uh, we are going to use uh, so this specs file we can mention the build build requires so it basically means like it, it needs to install the following uh, tools uh, in order to uh, build the package okay and uh, build and run the package you can say okay so these are the tools that we are going to install as a part of this uh, build and this is the, a description uh, macro and here like we have the auto setup and this uh, this is our uh, configure build uh, build step so basically uh, we do make uh, configure make make build so this is configuration step with some options and this is make install okay so once uh, the configuration is done for, uh, for our package we are starting our uh, uh, make build uh, okay make install so which actually builds and uh, install uh, creates our package okay so this is very basic spec spec, uh, spec file that uh, we are using uh, in order to get more details about the spec file like you can uh, look at the rpm manual okay so this is rpm manual that you can look at it uh, for more more details on the spec uh, spec file utilization okay so now let us go into our next step that is step uh, step 9 uh, that is download upstream source okay so so we have already created uh, our spec file which can, uh, can, uh, contains our source uh, tarpol directory also so the spec file already uh, contains our source uh, location for our uh, tarpol package so uh, the spec tool is going to uh, basically download that package uh, based on the spec file okay so let us see how it is done uh, let us go and run spec tool so let me close this file clear my screen and run spec tool minus g and you can see like it is do started downloading the package from the source location okay so now if you see the folder uh, uh, the directory structure like it contains our spec file and the source tarball okay so this is our uh, the, uh, the the package uh, uh, structure that uh, we will get to see like once we have run the spec tool okay so minus g option is basically used to get the source or package patches uh, patches that are listed in the url in the spec file okay so now that we have our package uh, in place and our spec pa uh, spec file is in place we can start to build the package okay so in order to build the package we are going to use the fed package tool uh, which is basically uh, the primary tool uh, for building the federal packages okay so in this case like we are going to build the package for uh, 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 on a, in a mock build environment and for uh, the f38 platform okay so this is the command that we need to run fed package release for fed, federal 38 and we should uh, it needs to run a mock build okay so this is going to build our package locally so as you can see it starts and builds locally uh, so you can uh, try this step and uh, basically what will happen is it will download the all the required builds it will configure uh, your build environment and it will try to uh, build your packages okay so in the last like if you see okay it has finished with the rpm build uh, and it has built the source rpm okay so let let me run this one okay so we'll get uh, some idea about the structure that it gets cre uh, it creates 
okay let me give it some time uh, so that it completes the build so you can see like uh, my build is completed like it has created the rpm uh, package and uh, the info is like uh, it has created it in the folder uh, hello uh, which is our uh, the package folder okay so now let us clear my screen and let me try to do ls minus ltr so you can see like uh, the hello spec file it is already pres present tar file the source tar ball is present and it has created the source rpm package okay so now if you see the source rpm uh, rpm package uh, listing So it basically contains our source tarball and the spec file. Okay. So basically, this uh, if you have uh, uh, this information for your uh, uh, the package, uh, like you can create the RPM package based on this. Okay. So and uh, let me do the preview for the results folder. And here, like you can see, like it has created our 2.10. Uh, version uh, 1 uh, FC38 for, uh, for platform it has created the the package the x86 64 package which is specific to that platform okay and these are the build logs that you can uh, look at it so let me go into results 2.10 1 FC38 and it will show you the build log that is this one okay so this is basically the build uh, that we have run locally and it captures that build uh, log file over here okay so this is how like you can uh, build the package uh, locally using the fed Okay, uh, just uh, just one thing that I wanted to mention over here. Uh, so Koji build system can be used to do a scratch build uh, for your package. But 
to in order to build the actual packages that are going to uh, be uh, a part of the Fedora operating system, uh, you need to be a part of the uh, the Fedora package uh, sponsors uh, uh, package group. Uh, a sponsors group you can say uh, so that uh, like you have the authority to build the package for the better operating system but but yeah so uh, otherwise like you can just uh, if you want to just try to uh, do a uh, uh, testing build like you can do the scratch build and see like what are the results for your fed, uh, the package that you have created okay so let me uh, refresh my screen so parallelly like if you go and see uh, your console like wherein uh, you have uh, like initiated the the scratch build like you will see like uh, this status wherein now uh, like the current status shows one open six star okay so you can see everything is completed now the and this should uh, like complete uh, now like it should pop up a message like the build has been completed okay so all these uh, packages are built uh, for that uh, specific uh, platform So you can see the build has been completed successfully okay so build has been completed successfully and you can see this uh, also like build is closed okay so this is how like you can build your source rpm packages uh, on the koji build system uh, using the scratch build option okay and uh, so as i said uh, this is only for testing purpose like uh, in order to build the actual packages you need to be a part of the sponsors group for uh, uh, you need to be a part of the package maintenance group uh, on the Fedora uh, uh, packages okay so here like if you uh, go and look at the rpm uh, x for x8664 like uh, you can just click on that one and it will take you to the the log file location for that rpm uh, build So here you can see, uh, so it has tried to build uh, in this uh, isolated directory build to root and uh, results uh, like you can see the results is uh, are in the tasks hello uh, so this is the rpm package that has been built okay and this is our package so you, if you see in the bottom like uh, in the browser like you can see work task 2207 task id and in that like we have our rpm package okay so this is how like you can build your package and you can just download this package and try to install it locally okay so if i uh, let's say if i want to download this package So I have downloaded this package uh, so let me see the location home admin downloads okay so let me go and uh, okay uh, I think I downloaded it on my host machine uh, but let me do wget on this location let me clear my screen wget install uh, and uh, let me download this and uh, now I have my uh, package present over here so let me try to install it
okay so now we are installing our customized hello package which is available locally and this is installed now and let me do um, uh, information uh, qi on that package to look at the information of that package so i can you can see like the name of the package is hello we have built it uh, with the version 2.10 and release one for fc38 okay and uh, license is gpl and source rpm is this one okay so everything uh, like uh, is remains the same uh, let me try to do user bin hello and you will get this message okay so it this basically uh, is the uh, the binary that gets installed once you install this rpm okay so as you can see so this is the binary that we have executed and we have got the results as hello world so this is how like we can build the package locally and on the uh, the build system using the uh, the federal packaging tools and the koji build system okay so i hope you uh, enjoyed watching this video and you got some uh, information uh, useful information in order to build the packages for federal operating system and uh, uh, if you wish like you can uh, try to uh, contribute uh, to the federal operating system uh, more uh, by building specific rpms for that federal community okay so thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day